Hello students, we are taking here exercise 2.6, sum number 7. Somewhat challenging sum here and such type of sums they are asking in exam. What the sum they given see? Pratik takes 8 hours to travel 36 km downstream and return to the same spot. The speed, is, speed of boat in still water is 12 km per hour. Find the speed of water current. Means here, upstream and downstream, these two terms they given here. First you want to understand what is the meaning of upstream. Upstream means opposite direction. Of what? And when you consider downstream, then in the direction of water. Therefore, when upstream, we take subtraction. When downstream, we take addition. Then now here, when you are considering, first they given here, speed of boat in still water equal to 12 km per hour. They given this to us. Then now we want to find what? Speed of water. Then we take here. First write let speed of water equal to x kilometer per x kilometer per therefore upstream speed I told upstream means subtraction that is 12 minus x kilometer per hour and downstream speed means Means addition that is 12 plus x kilometer per hour. We written here upstream and downstream speed. But what they given? Pratik goes 36 kilometer upstream, again 36 kilometer downstream, but he required total time is 8 hours. Then we want to consider the formula for time. Who can say me this formula for time there? Yes? Yes, speed formula only we want to mold it. Time is equal to distance upon speed. Because already you know speed is equal to distance upon time. We have given time, therefore time is equal to distance upon speed. Now as per condition. What is the condition we want? 36 km upstream. 36 km is the distance. Upstream speed is 12 minus x. Plus again 36 km downstream 12 plus x total required time they give us 8 hours. 36, 36 and 8 all are multiples of 4 therefore we here write divide by 4. When you divide by 4 you get 4 9s are 36 12 minus x plus 9 upon 12 plus x equal to 4 to the 8. Here use the cross multiplication that is 9 into bracket 12 minus x sorry 12 plus x plus 9 into bracket 12 minus x whole divided by 12 minus x into 12 plus x equal to 2. You understand how we take a cross multiplication? Yes. Now solving bracket 12 nines are 100 and 8 plus 9x plus 100 and 8 minus 9x upon 12 minus x 12 plus x. What you will use? A minus B, A plus B, A square means 12 square is 144 minus B square means x square equal to plus 9x minus 9x cancel 
hundred and eight and hundred and eight means two hundred and sixteen. Two hundred sixteen upon one forty four minus x square equal to two. Again divide by two to both. We will simplify hundred and eight upon one forty four minus x square equal to one divided by two. Two one zero eight ja two one ja. Now take cross multiplication. Then one zero eight equal to one forty four minus x square. Minus x square come here and plus one forty four minus one zero eight. X square equal to what? Subtraction. One forty four minus one zero eight is thirty six. Then by taking square root, x is equal to plus minus six. By taking square root, will we take negative answer here? No. Why? Because speed never negative. Therefore, x not equal to minus six. Then x is equal to six. What is x? X is our speed of water, and therefore, speed of water equal to six kilometer per hour. See again, upstream means opposite direction of water. Downstream means in the direction of water. When you take opposite direction, then there addition, sorry subtraction, and when downstream, then addition. Speed of boat in still water they given to us 12 kilometer per hour. Speed of still water we taken here x kilometer per hour. Then upstream means subtraction that is 12 minus x kilometer. Downstream means addition that is 12 plus x kilometer. Time is equal to distance upon speed. Therefore, 36 upon 12 minus x plus 36 upon 12 plus x equal to 8. Then what you get here? Anyone say? Divide by 4. Nine upon twelve minus x plus nine upon twelve plus x equal to two. Use cross multiplication. After solving, you get here two hundred sixteen upon one forty four minus x square equal to two. Again divide by two. One zero eight upon one forty four minus x square equal to one. After solving, you get x is equal to plus minus six. But speed never negative. Therefore, x is equal to minus not minus six. Then x equal to six. Speed of water is six kilometer per hour. Are you understanding?